Hi, friends. Welcome back. Oh, Miss Becky, you're not even in view. <laughs> Sorry. Hi, friends. Goodness. Welcome oh. back. <laughs> she was trying to trick us and get out of this lesson. Silly her. Oh, my. <laughs> Hi, friends. So we're going to be talking about shapes, okay, for this lesson. So we're going to focus on shapes. So we just touched a little bit about shapes in circle time when we went on that 3D hunt. Thank you, by the way, for helping me. I would never have been able to find those. So we're going to talk a little bit more about shapes. So I have these cute little cards. These are, they should be in your kits. Um, so you guys can cut those out. So we're just going to flip through them like flashcards and talk about the shape. Um, and then we're going to practice drawing some shapes. We are going to go on another shape hunt. It's going to be a little bit different this time. Um, I'm going to put Miss Becky to the test since she tricked me and I needed you. Okay. She's getting tested this time. Uh <laughs> so hope you're ready. I'm ready. All right. Um, so let's, let's do a little review on some of these cards. So does anybody know what this is? Does anybody know? You're right. It does look like a rectangle, but remember, all of these shapes are 3D. So they're going to have a different name other than the shapes that we're typically used to, because you're right. This does look like a rectangle, but it's actually called a rectangular prism because it's 3D. Okay, so this is a rectangular prism. What about this guy? Yeah, this is, well, that was close. This is called a cylinder. We do have some of these in our science center that have some liquid in them. Um, and you can mix them, you can change the colors. Some of them, if you turn them upside down, they move slow. So each one's a little bit different. So this is a cylinder. Oh, this one's tricky. This one's tricky. This one's even hard to say. Does anybody have any idea what that is? No, that's okay, because it's a tough one. It's called a hexagonal prism. Man, that's tough to say. Ooh, what about this one? This one is a rectangular pyramid. So I'm sure these are probably all new words to you guys, I'm sure. What about this one? This is a triangular prism. What about that one? This is a triangular pyramid. So they're pretty similar words. They're just, they just sound a little bit different. Oh, what do you guys remember what this one is? We just had, we just found it in the block area and it was blue. Yeah, nice job, good remembering. Yeah, but it's a cube. What about this one? This one's a sphere. So we're getting into some easy words now. All right, this is our last one. Anybody know what this is? No? Here, I'll give you a hint. What if I hold it up like this? What's that look like? Yeah, it looks like an ice cream cone, but it's not called, it's not an ice cream cone. I mean, it looks like an ice cream cone. It's just called a cone. Nice job, friends. Good job. Nice, nice, nice. So now what I need you guys to do is I need you to get out your favorite color construction paper, get out a pencil and a pair of scissors. So remember when you have your scissors, these are sharp. Please remember your scissor safety. If you have to get up and walk around, hold them like this. Do not run with scissors. And do not walk around like this because you could cut somebody or cut yourself, okay? Whenever you are cutting paper, make sure you're holding your paper, but like tuck your fingers so you don't cut them and make sure you're always watching your paper and you're not cutting and like looking around because that's not safe either, okay? Got it? All right, you ready? I'm ready. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our favorite color, we just so happen to pick, pick out green. We're like twins today. <laughs> um, you're gonna take your pencil and what you're gonna do is you're gonna just practice drawing some shapes. Any shape you want and then we're gonna cut them out, okay? So we're gonna practice. So I'm just gonna do two. How many are you gonna do, Miss Becky? Um, I'll do three. So this is what ours look like. And as you can see, we did them very different. I decided to do two and I drew them big. 
Miss Becky drew small and she did three. Sorry, I lost my train of thought for a second. <laughs> um, so she did three and she drew small. I did two and I drew big. So everybody's is going to be different. And that is a-okay because guess what? There was no rule to this. Yes. So it was just draw shapes. That's all we told you to do. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hold our scissors. Remember, thumb in the top, two fingers, pointer in the middle and the bottom. All right, cut out our shapes. Remember, keep your scissors safety. Keep those fingers tucked and watch what you're cutting. Don't be looking around. And try your best to stay on the line when you're cutting. All right, I got one shape down. I have one down too. Tiny little. All right, so I did a square and I did a circle. So those are the two shapes I chose to do and they were bigger. Okay. And Miss Becky chose to make her smaller. Yes, I have one more that I'm cutting out. She utilized her paper better than I did. <laughs> she has still room to draw shapes if she wants to and I really don't. And then after you make these shapes, if you want, you could hide them like we did and then go find them. Mm -hmm. Or, you could build something out of them if yeah. you wanted to. You can make something however you want. Like you could turn this into like a flower or something or even a person. Draw a little face, draw some arms, be creative with them, do whatever you want with them. Remember, there's no rules to this activity. Yep. Just have fun. Just have fun with it. Or like but Miss Becky said, hide them around the room, go look for them. That, you know, that would be super fun too, just like we did. I had a blast with doing that. Yeah. Um, but like we said, there's no rules to this. Your only rule was, well, not really a rule, but your only direction was to draw and cut them out. Yeah. So do whatever you want with them, guys. Be creative, send us pictures. We'd love to see the different kinds of activities you guys come up with, with your shapes. All right, uh, so now, um, before I give the floor over to Miss Becky, um, we are to do learning game number 158 again. Um, we still do not have that. If you have it, please do it. Um, if you don't, don't worry about it. Um, Cause I don't even know what it's supposed to be because like I said, we don't have it. We haven't had it for a couple of weeks. So I'm thinking if we don't have it, you don't have it. Um, but please check your binders for it. Like I said, it's learning game 158. If you have it, please complete it. Um, if not, don't worry about it. Okay, so now we're gonna do learning game 154. There's two parts to this game. We're just going to do the one part today. And it is when you get your sock puppets out that we made. We made these about a month ago, I think. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah, because yeah. I think that one, well, you might've made, I don't remember, we made them though. <laughs> yeah, and look um, how cute. they're really fun to make. If you haven't made them, go ahead and do it. Just use some older socks, whatever you have. Um, and so you're gonna get them and get with your kids and tell a story with your puppets, okay? So I'm gonna show you a story with my puppets, okay? This one's name is, she's a princess actually. Oh. So she's. <laughs> I didn't realize we had royalty in the room. Yes, she's Princess Stacy. Oh. And then here I have, I think his name was Matt. He's my silly friend. Okay. So Princess Stacy's going to talk to Matt, okay? Hi, Matt. Do you want to come to my castle with me? Sure. Let's go. Okay. Let's go across the bridge. They're going across the bridge. To the fishing pond. Okay, let's go. That sounds fun. Let's get our fishing stuff out. Okay. Let's go fish. Let's go. We'll see you later, friends. We're going to go fish. Bye. So it's super fun and it was, you get to reuse your puppet that we made a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, One more and make puppet. up a story. Yeah, make them up however you want to. You can, there's no rules with that either. Um, you can make so many stories up, you can make up a ton of them. Yeah. Um, but send those to us too, because I think those, those would be really cute. Yeah. 
All right, so before we get you up and moving around again, um, we're gonna read a story, okay? So this book is called Swimmy. Has anybody ever read this story before? I know we've read it in, we've read it in class before, but I'm not sure if anybody has read it at home. Is this a hard book or a soft book? Yep, it's a soft back. So this, I just said this book's called Swimmy. So that is the title. This is the front cover. This is the back. And this, does anybody know what this thing is right here? Does anybody know what this is? So this book got the call to call honor. And that's what this is. It's so that everybody knows that they got that. You guys see it? It's pretty cool. It's pretty special. Um, so then we have the back of the book. And then these are just some other books that they wrote, um, which is actually kind of cool that they list those on the back of the picture so you know what they look like. Um, and then this is the spine. All right, here we go, friends. A happy sea of school, little, a happy school of little fish lived in a corner of the sea somewhere. They were all red. Only one of them was as black as a mussel shell. He swam faster than his brothers and sisters. His name was Swimmy. You guys see him right there? One bad day, a tuna fish, swept, swift and fierce and very hungry, came darting through the waves. In one gulp, he swallowed all the little fish. Only Swimmy escaped. Oh, that's scary. I'm getting nervous. Yeah. Oh, and we just started this book. Holy moly. What do you guys think happened next? I don't know. I'm nervous to find out, though. I know. Oh, my. They're swimming by himself. He swam away in the deep, wet world. He was scared, lonely, and very sad. I'm very sad for him. Yeah. How do you guys feel right now? But the sea was full of wonderful creatures. As he swam from marble to marble, swimming, was happy again. He saw a Medusa made of a rainbow jelly. So this is jellyfish. A lobster who walked about like a water moving machine. Strange fish pulled by individual thread. A forest of seaweed growing from sugar candy rocks. That's interesting. What do you guys think sugar candy rocks are? Especially in the ocean. Uh, I don't know what that would be. Do you guys have any idea what that would be? Maybe they'll tell us if we keep on going. An eel whose tail is almost too far away to remember. And C. And no, I'm not sure what that word is. Anemones who look like pink palm trees swaying in the wind. They do look like palm trees. That's kind of cool. Then hidden in the dark shade of rocks and weeds, he saw a school of little fish, just like his own. Let's go and swim and play and see things. He said happily, we can't, said the little red fish. The big fish will eat us all. But you can't just lie here, said swimming. We must think of something. So here's all the little redfish, just like we saw in the beginning of the story. And here's Swimmy. What do you think? Do you think he's going to get them to listen to him, or do you think they're just going to stay hidden? What's your prediction? I think he might end up getting them to come out. That's what I'm thinking. I don't yeah. know. What do you think, Miss Becky? I think so. Swimmy thought and thought and thought. Then suddenly he said, I have it. We are going to swim all together like the biggest fish in the sea. He thought it was a pretty good plan. He taught them how to swim close, each in their own place. Look, they look like one big fish, don't they? And when they learn to swim like one giant fish, he said, I'll be the eye. Look how cool that is, friends. It looks like a gigantic fish, but it's like a bunch of little wow. fish. And his little black fish, Swimmy, really does look like the eye. That's pretty awesome. And so they swam in the cool morning water and in the midday sun and chased the big fish away. The 
Man, that's a really great that story. Was. Really great. That's why I'm so glad I got to share it with you guys, especially for those of you who haven't got to read it with us in school, because um, it's a super good book. Um, and you guys should, you know, try to read it again. I'm sure we'll read it again this week, um, just because it was such a good book. So, actually, before we get into that, um, since we were just talking about fish in the ocean, do you guys think you could have fish as a pet in your house? You think so? You don't think? I think you can. I think so, because yeah. I actually have some fish at my house. See? You just need a tank for them. <laughs> yeah. A little bit of gravel, some plants, some food, and they'll be happy. They're a great addition to your house as a pet. And they're easy to maintain, too. They are. You don't need as many supplies. Like we brought in last week for our dogs and our cats. You don't need that much stuff um, for a fish. They're pretty, and they're, they're fun to look at. So, and you, they come in all kinds of colors. So we got them off a little side brand. <laughs> now we're going to get Chef moving. So how we went on a shape hunt earlier, how you helped me look for those 3D shapes. Now we're going to put Miss Becky up to the test. We're going to walk over here. Got a sheet on the board. It's orange. It says shape hunt. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our pencil. We're going to take it over to the board. I'm going to take you with me. And then we're going to draw shapes. And we're going to have Miss Becky. We're going to make her find them. And then when she finds them, she's going to have to color them in. Okay. So here we go. Crayons. Yep. Take some crayons out. So we're on Amanda Vision. All right, so I gotta hold you guys in this hand because I'm right-handed. All right, so here's our shape hunt paper. So what kind of shape do you guys think we should draw? Oh, a circle, that's a good one. So we have a circle. That's not a really good circle. Oh no, I don't think you guys can really see that. Um, what else? Ooh, a triangle, that's a good one. Got our triangle. Let's do two more. I think we can put two more on here. What else? Oh, star, that's tricky. Draw a star. Okay, what else? One more. Ooh, I like it, a diamond. I like that. Up. And up. All right, so we've got our shapes. I'm not sure how well you guys can see that. Maybe I should have did it in marker. Um, I hope you guys can see that. So now we're gonna trick Miss Becky. Okay, you guys ready? All right, Miss Becky, you ready? I'm ready. Got your crayons ready? I have them. All right, so I need you to find a, a star. Please help me, friends. Can you guys help her? You think this is a star? I don't think so. How about down here? No. Hmm. Which one would it be? Which one do you think, friends? You think that think one? This one. I think it's a star. Actually, it's kind of cool doing it this way with the pencil because since it is looks like it is hard to see, it may not be hard to see on the camera, but it's almost like one of those like scratch pads. Yeah. Where it has like something revealing underneath the black. You have to scratch it to get the picture. Kind of what this is, because you're drawing it and then we're gonna or you're coloring it, and we're gonna be able to see it. Hey friends, what do you think? Is that a star? Is that a star? Sure is. It is. Good job, Miss Becky. All right, can you find a circle? Hmm, let's see. I don't think this is a circle. I know that a circle's brown. Ooh, this one's you might it. be on to something. What do you think, friends? I think that's one. I think this is the circle. Hey. All right. You find a diamond. Diamond. Hmm. I only have two left, friends. What do you think? I don't think that's it. I think this would be my diamond. And do you guys see how Miss Becky's taking her finger and outlining the shape yep. is helping her figure out if that is the correct shape. Hey, I'm gonna color my diamond in. Nice. Hey. All right, can you find the square? Hmm. I don't know. There's one left, and this does not look like a square. <laughs> You're trying to trick her. 
Are you sure there's no square, Miss Becky? I don't know. I don't see a square. Do you, friends? Is Miss Amanda tricking me? <sighs> All right, there's no square. <laughs> All right, can you find a triangle? I have one left, and I think that's my triangle. I'm gonna color it in. Try to stay in the lines. Okay. Perfect. So Miss Becky did a really good job. You guys did a really good job helping her. That's all we have for this lesson. So we will see you guys just in a, back in a bit uh, for another activity. Bye friends. Bye friends.